we have a very special guest. She graduated from the University of the Philippines, one of the best directors in the Philippine industry. She worked with J. Dean, Josh Lia, and of course, Liz Ken, the one and only director of Alone Together. Everyone, let's give it up for Miss Antoinette Hadaune. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Well, this is, of course, our pilot episode, and we could <laughs> not. This is pilot episode? Yes, this is our first episode. And, of course, we need to be bong yung first guest. <laughs> natin. And so timely because we all know that February yung pinaka sikat na celebration, siguro of the first quarter ng taon is always Valentine's Day. And we all know that Alone Together, your latest movie just came out. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. Super excited. Actually, I just saw it and I loved it. Like, totoo, I'm not even making that up. Siyempre, <laughs> di ko naman, di naman pwede na, I didn't like it, di ba? That was a shame guess namin. Pero I really, honestly, Thank sobrang you. gusto ko siya. And, but I wanted to ask, you're probably super busy around this time. Hindi ba? No, I know, not as much as uh, the actors. Kasi usually, yung actors are the ones na nag mall show, mall tour. Right. Me ikot, ganun. So, how long did it take? Sigurado, while you were shooting, sobrang pagod, every day, siguro napupuya, dami, yeah. a lot of hours, a lot of effort going into a film like this. Pero, how long did it take you guys? The planning and everything, from start to finish? Um, the, the planning of the film. The green light yung project. The green light meaning na go ng product ng producers uh -huh. ng October. Just 2018. 2018. Tapos we started shooting in November. Okay. End of November. So I had to write the script from October to end of November, and we had to. Wow, do... that's normal, bayan na yeah, ganon. Mabilis, kaikli. mabilis yon. Yeah. Mabilis yon. Tapos we had to do all the acting workshops and all the pre-prod and all the immersion before we started the shoot ng last week of November. I actually, December pala kami nag-start. Uh -huh. And Around then it December. went to... And then December to first week of February, yung shooting. But yung shooting, 18 days. 18 days kami. That's it? Just yes. 18 days? 18 days lang. Grabe, ibang klase. You mentioned immersion. So did you have to get like, because uh, we all know that Enrique Hill, he plays um, a USD bio student. Yes. And okay. when you talked about immersion, did he have to go to USD? Did he take a class or something? Um, Kumuha ba kayo ng bio student? Kausapin niyo si Enrique? Mas yung kay, yung kay Enrique was, um, kasi in the, may yung timeline kasi ng film, merong dalawang timelines sa past and the present. So right. yung, present time yung pinagtuunan ko ng pansin doon kay Enrique. So, si Enrique, sa present time, is a doctor to the barrios. Okay. So, different siya sa doctor, doctor sa hospital. The doctor to the barrios, naka-assign sila sa malalayong mga isla sa Pilipinas. So, ibang klaseng doctors yun. So, we had to interview mga doctor to the barrios talaga. Tapos, nagpunta siya sa... PGH siya kasi St. Luke's to see okay. the ano to see yung ER yung ER yung uh, ER na mga public hospitals kasi mas alam natin yung mga private hospitals ba pero ibang klase yung sitwasyon ng emergency room sa ano eh. Yeah I don't know if anybody here has seen the movie yet pero merong mga times na he'll be out doing something mag-isa lang and then we'll get a call Skelan pumasuk again. Mm, yes. So uh, you can really see the difference. Like we all know that private doctors and don palagis hospital, but this this time some movie like on call talaga yes, on yung call, legit. Uh, yes. <laughs> Pero um for those who who do not know or who haven't watched the movie yet, could you give us like a quick story, like very quickly, what is it about? Um it's about uh two lovers who met in two thousand 12, 2010, ganyan. And then, this girl, Christine, played by Eliza Severano, she's a girl na yung usual college student who wanted to change the world. Mm -hmm. So, she dreams to be a great person. But, uh, the most of the film will show na hindi niya nakuha yung pagiging great person that she wanted to be. So, yun. Yun yung turnaround sa buong film. So, that, yun yung... Yun, kung ano yung magiging papel ni Enrique or ni Raf sa life niya. 
now na hindi siya great person that she wanted to be. I'm super giddy because I wish that you could just go scene by scene by scene by scene <laughs> and quenta the entire story. But you guys will have to watch it in cinemas. It's out. It just came out February 13, so you guys still have a lot of time to go look at it. Pero you mentioned um, Liza Sobrano, who was incredible, by the way. Sobrang ganda ng performance niya. Pero, um, oh. yeah, sure, clap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, incredible performance. Um, you mentioned her being an art student. Um, are you into art? Do you, have you traveled? Have you visited all these other museums that they talked about in the movie? Um, ano ko, film, film graduate ako. Mm -hmm. So, medyo mas arts. Pero right. kay si Liza, different, different side of art siya. Kasi siya ay um, art studies. Mm -hmm. So, it is different from fine arts. So, ang difference ay when you're in fine arts, you create art. But when you're when, when you're in art studies, you study art. You study mm -hmm. art. So, ibang, so parang nagustuhan ko yung ibang kind of art na map, mapakita sa mga tao na hindi lahat ng, hindi lahat ng, kung, kung baga, kung hindi ka gumagawa, kung hindi ka painter, hindi ka artist, pwede ka pa rin maging into arts. Right. Yan. Pero did It you have so. to study it for the film? Mm, oo. I had to interview a lot of art, una mga art studies majors in UP, okay. mga artists, tapos because mu mu museology yung yung parang milieu ng film so mga museum so i had to research about national museum or mga ibang museum sa ibang bansa the metropolitan museum of art in new york ganun. you mentioned nga up how was it like going back are you uh, always there naman mm -hmm. mga balik parang feeling ko naman hindi lang for hindi lang mga taga up parang feeling ko in general mga fresh usually fresh graduates parang or kapag nag-work ka na you always tend to go back to your university kahit maybe to meet your old professors or meet your or go back to yung places na dating pinupuntahan mo parang it's like ano eh binabalikan mo yung dating ikaw like when you're in the real world you always almost always forget who you are so at one point or another, babalik ka sa university in your college, in your college years to, to reminisce, to bring back who you were in college. Yeah, that's why I really love how it's so relatable. Because especially, I'm sure a lot of USD students are going to watch it, a lot of UP students are going to watch it, but just college students in general. Because that mentality na you have a path, tapos hindi mo nakuha yung gusto mo, and then you break, maraming nahihirapan makabalik. Na mahanap yung gusto nila ulit. Yes. And what I also love yung at UP, syempre yung mga trademark places, the bench, chocolate kisses. Yes. I'm sure that you had a lot of memories there. Mm. Same pa rin ba? Yung sa yung chocolate kiss kasi ano siya. Uh, sa standards ng students, hindi siguro sa buong college life ko isang best na ako nakakain sa chocolate kiss. Really? Kasi mahal siya eh. Ah, okay. Parang 200 pesos per meal. Okay. So, eh, magkano lang? Yung uh, turo-turo na sa labas. Oo, yun lang. Uh -huh. Usually, hindi, hindi nga ako umabot, hindi ako umabot sa, ano, sa kumakain ako sa, sa chocolate kiss. Usually, uso sa amin yung money with cheese. Kasi, okay. <laughs> 10 pesos lang siya, tapos plus 2 pesos with cheese. So, okay ka na, busog ka na. Yeah, so, that was actually one of my favorite scenes though, when they were at chocolate kiss, and she went back to her old professor. So yeah, thank you so much. It was great having you here. And everyone has to go watch the film. It is out today in cinemas. And so go check it out if you haven't yet. But before you go, gusto po namin maglaro ng game. A quick game with you. Okay. Because if you aren't aware, si Ma'am Antoinette, she wrote, produced, and directed this film. Pero she has countless other movies that are very successful. So we wanted to put you to the test. Okay. Okay, so we have some lines here, quotes from your own movies, and then we're gonna see if you can guess it, okay? So the okay. name of the game is Guess the Lines. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Okay, so you have 30 seconds on the clock, okay? And then we're gonna see how 30 many. Seconds. 30 okay. seconds long, and then it's like rapid fire round, okay? Okay, game. Ready, set, go. So it says, Hello, ano yan? Magkasama na tayo palagi, pero masaya ba tayo? Oh my! Hindi ko lang ko ba to? Oh God! Never not love you. Okay, sunod, sunod, sunod. 
Yo, madaling mapagod. Matagal ka lang magmahal. Um, do you know it? All you need is pag-iwig? Um, no. You're my... Oh my God! Ano ba to? <laughs> First star cinema film ko yan eh. You're my, You're my boss. You're yeah. my boss. Yeah, okay, okay. Ito. Ang totoong nagmamahal, marunong maghintay. Okay. Oh my God! <laughs> I feel like all of these lines could be in one movie. <laughs> all you need is pag-iwig. No. It's the same. You're my boss. You're my boss. Okay. At that thing called Tadhana. Yes, very good. So yeah, one point. Very good, very good. Hindi ko, sinulat ko lang to pero hindi ako nag-direct nito. English only, please. Very good. So that's two points. Oh, and that is all the time we have. Oh my God, hindi ko nasagot yung iba. Nakakalo. Kasi napakahaba, no? Mahirap pang umas. Mahirap pang bigami. Pero mas mahirap bigami. How do you, what do you think? Sagutin na natin. Nakakaaliw naman eh. Breaky hearts? No, I think... All you need is pag-ibig. Ano ba yan? Pati ko maalala. Saka ka loko. I think because of the... Yung dami. Yung dami na ng sulat mo. Okay? But that's all the time we have for today. Thank you. Once again, everybody, Miss Antoinette Hadaune. Thank you. Don't go away. We'll be coming.